Good morning again. Um, I got some dirty dishes to do and some other ones. I got to wash all those dishes I unpacked this morning. Um, but right now I'm hungry and I won't be getting dressed today. I just am just not up for it. So um, I don't want this. I bought this the other day and it's so soft on my skin. I don't want to take it off yet. So I'm going to wear it for the day too. More or less I sleeping slept like a baby slept in till 9 30 but now i'm gonna make me some breakfast i'm gonna make me some pancakes so that's what i feel like so i'm gonna make a couple of few pancakes um i don't know i would you know i think i'm gonna use this this pan right here um your lid I'm gonna make them in this pan right here because this one is over being overly used so I'm gonna give this one a break and I'm gonna go ahead and make them in this pan let's see back burner on about a six just above medium we're gonna start with some olive oil there we go a little bit of that I don't want them to stick so and I believe my brush is, and my spatula that I want to use is clean. This is clean, this is clean. A little bit of butter. And for lunch, I am going to make some um, chow mein type. Uh, it's not called chow mein, but it's something mean. I'm gonna make that for lunch. So I'm gonna have an Ori and a lunch. Let's get this mixed up around the pan. We put a lot in here because um, it's a non-stick pan, and really, you don't. I don't actually need any for the pancakes. So. But I better get those mixed up before the pan gets too hot. Water. That's the good thing about pancakes. All it needs is water and pancake mix. <laughs> I dropped my lid. Drop my lid. If I could just go one day with the oven up and down, I'd probably be a lot better. Okay, that's about ready. Ready right here. Pancakes are so easy. Oh, I, I almost spilled all over the place. Um, hold on to the handle, Lisa. Don't be, don't be dumb like that. Flipping it all over. I think this might be the consistency I'm looking for. We're gonna try it. It might be a little too big. No, it looks perfect. Actually, it looks a little runny, but I think it'll be fine. Looks like I can do about three medium-sized pancakes in this pan. There we are. And really, that's all I'll eat is three. So, if I can even get that down.
I'll deal with that later. I'm hungry now. Here's my plate. <coughs> I'm going to have some peanut butter. Yummy peanut butter. And we're going to have peanut butter. Well, and butter, of course. Butter, peanut butter, and syrup. the jam as well but I want the syrup if I have the jam I don't have the syrup and I want the syrup Aunt Jemima my favorite kind of syrup I mean you can take the Aunt Jemima off the label but isn't that kind of rude I mean it has been like that for so long these are just about ready to be flipped not quite almost um, I don't know. The bubbles are popping, but they seem undone. But I think it's fine. I think that's the way it's going to be. I'm just trying to make a, a quick breakfast. But I appreciate you joining me for breakfast, too. I do. Um, the coffee I made earlier. Mm -mm. No. It's a no-go on coffee. Mm eat my pancakes in sorrow of not having coffee this morning. I don't know. It doesn't taste right. I flipped it backwards. Oh dear. Oh my. <laughs> ah. All right. Well, they look pretty good. They're not the best um, pancakes. I like them crusty around the edges though. I mean, I like it like a solid pan color that as well but when you put grease in the pan um, you're going to get it crispy around the edges which is what I like and then the side that you flip it to possibly could be that nice tan I think I might make a couple of bigger ones to get the initial uh, the initial um, Cupcakes in the pan aren't usually not like the way you want them. But just a little bit of oil around the edge. Yeah. Yep, see, I thought they were going to turn out that way. I think it's because it's the oil in the pan. And then um, a non stick pan, and add the oil in it, and make it even more non stick. That one looks good. Um, I'm just going to take a paper towel. Now that I have these three cooked the way I like it, um, I'm going to take a paper towel and remove any leftover oil and butter. And now I'm just going to flip this over. This is going to be a perfect. Oh, oh yeah. What do you think? And I got I got enough for one more after this one. So they're kind of yellowy. Um, these on a different plate. Actually, my hand is gonna be yellowy, but it's gonna be real pretty too. Um, he's got his nose up to the his nose up to the door. I thought, well, maybe he's not feeling well. He's got other things. He's coming around. I'm going to put these three on here. They feel so soft and, and fluffy. Soft and fluffy. So, I'm going to put it right here, actually. Oh, you know what? I can't turn this lid upside down. The, the bad design. The lid, the handles are too big to turn the lid upside down. And so, I won't be setting them there. Set them over here. Oh, this is gonna be a perfect pancake. Yes, sir, Bob, it is. Oh my gosh, it looks so beautiful. I'm, I'm flipping it. <sighs> what a beauty! Oh my god, I can't wait to show you. I gotta show you. I gotta show you right now. Look at this pancake I just made. Isn't that beautiful? Oh. 
It's huge. Yes, that is the pancake. I'm, and this size pancake, I'm only going to need two to fill up. Yeah, that's just got to do a little cooking on that one side right there. Oh, yeah. Perfect. I love it. Perfect pancake. Oh, yeah, that's a, that's a nice looking pancake there. It's like perfectly round, too. Did you see that? I'm going to show it to you again. <laughs> Did you see that? You know, I've noticed this this stove is a lot of ding, 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 when it heats up and pulls down. So, I like the stove, but I mean, it looks nice, but I would rather it be better functional. I mean, it's functional fine. It just has that element of noise that I know would get on my nerves. Um, and I've been a year younger. I don't know. I don't want to say it's going to get on my nerves because then it's going to get on my nerves. But it is going tick, 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 tick. cooling up, heating up, cooling down it. How's that? Oh boy. Doesn't that look decent? Let's see what the other side. Oh, other side looks perfect too. Nice pancake. Nice pancake there, Alicia. Okay, I got one more. Do I want to make it any bigger than that? Probably not. So I got one more, one more in here, one more small one. Okay, so I am going to eat this pancake for sure. Need a little bit of butter on there. The butter that I put back in the bin is that was melted, softened, is harder than the butter in the container itself. Maybe it was a, a cube of butter that I put in here. It is hard. It was raw. I'm telling you. All right. So we're gonna let that soften a little bit. peanut butter, but sometimes you just can't help yourself. There we go. Oh, that's going to be good. Butter and peanut butter will mix together. And then just some syrup on there. Some delicious peanut butter. Peanut butter. Oh, yeah, that's good. That looks good. And then this one here, which also looks amazing. Oh, now tell me that is not the perfect pancake. Ah, it's so exciting. New pans, new cooking. I, my other pans are just so old that I never even realized that the pan, you know, got the good pan and you can cook. Your cooking just leveled up. Yep. Just leveled up. Oh boy, that's going to be good. I love peanut butter. Peanut butter and sour cream are my two favorite things. There we go. Oh, that looks so good. Doesn't that look good? Yummy. And I got another pancake coming that goes right on top of that. It'll heat that back up, and this will be nice and hot. And I'll get a hot breakfast. And I'm not going to cook that one because I'm going to eat these. So you always want to cook one first because this is how the first batch ends up. But when you get the second batch and third batch going, that's how they're going to look. And this, I believe, is done. I'm going to go ahead and turn it off and eat my breakfast. And then I will... Um, Cook some more if I just, oh man, oh man, oh, that's perfect, oh, I am in awe of myself. Okay, I'll put more butter there. I'll put some peanut butter on the top. 
and it's, it wants to slide around, but I'm not letting it. So I put it right on top, and I want it to stay there. So you kind of get this butter peanut butter mixture kind of thing going on, which is fine. It's delicious, by the way. Okay, so that's that's going to be enough peanut butter. I don't want to. <laughs> I don't want to overdo it. I just put like a quarter cup of peanut butter on my pancake. A little peanut butter. And a little bit more syrup on the top. I have a tendency to put a little more on the top top than I did the bottom one. And this is perfect. Oh my gosh, it's gonna be so good. It's gonna be so good. I'm gonna get myself a paper towel and I will clean up after I eat. So let's give it a shot. Let's give it a try. What do you think? They're going to be good, huh? Oh, I wish you could join me for breakfast. I would cook a hundred of these. And I would eat number 98. No, number 99 and a hundred. I'd give 98 of them away first. And then I would eat the last two cooked. <laughs> then we're all happy. Hmm. Mm -hmm. It's really good. And those are those are good too. With the little crispy edges. I love the little crispy edges. I don't mind having the first batch. Not at all. But I'm the only one here. So I might as well have the second and third batch because those that's where it gets good. That's just the way pancakes are for me. First batch, I never get the perfect pancake. And it's probably because I put butter and oil in the pan. Brand new non-stick pan. I really don't need the butter and oil. So... And this, these two are made with, I wiped it out with the paper towel, and then this is how they turned out. So, yeah. No butter and oil. No oil in the pan. Mm -hmm. That's good. And I think, because I'm... I want like some a hot beverage like tea or coffee but it's just not working out for me this morning for that so I'm going to grab you know what I should do is drink one of his cokes <laughs> I got about this much left in this and I have one more bottle in there too so. this this amount of soda for me is perfect like I, it usually takes me three to drink one bottle. And I'm just going to drink it right out. Like I just opened it. It still has carbonation in it. I think any longer than that, open the carbonation, it starts going flat. But, yeah, this has perfect amount of carbonation in it. So I'm going to sit down and enjoy my breakfast. Thank you for joining me this morning in cooking breakfast. And I have quite the mess to clean up too. So if you want to join me later for the